Hi, how you doing? Great, well we're en route, so we're, we're coming to you now. Shall I put you on to the taxi driver? Because then you can tell him exactly where to go. Okay, here he is. We are on the road to meet Susan Murabon, who've just landed in Nairobi. I'm feeling really tired. It's been a long, long journey. Very excited about meeting Susan, um, and she is the head of marketing of the African Astronomical Society. And uh, we're going to be following her as she goes to collect the boxes which contain the solar safe glasses for distribution around the schools. Black t shirt and blue jeans. Okay, we'll look out for you. That might, might well be Susan just here. Let's pull up the door. Hello, are you Susan? Hi, hi. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. you. Nice How's to things? Meet you too. <laughs> so, um, where are we going now? We're going to meet with a group uh, from Sky and Telescope who have come with the donation of uh, solar view glasses. So, interesting. Great. <laughs> we got, I think, more than 10,000 for Africa, and they're all donations. The whole idea is to get as many young children to look up in the sky during the eclipse, but even after uh, the eclipse or even before they can look at the sun and they can learn a little bit about the sun. When you have more scientists, you're likely to develop as a country. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Good morning. You must morning. be Susan. Yes, Susan. I am Kelly. Very, very nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Hello, I'm Chu. Chu, very How's nice to meet you. Great. So these are what it's all about. These glasses are made um, to view the sun without damaging your eyes. And uh, very, they look good on you. Very good. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, where we're going, the sun will briefly be completely covered. But from here in Nairobi, I think the it's at least about a 90% eclipse. I haven't really checked exactly, but but it'll be the sun will be just left as a thin crescent. Yeah, it's a guess. I, and I really apologize. Our group is getting ready. I, I have to go. Yes. I, good luck and clear skies. Uh, thank you. Good luck to you as well. Uh, this and is going to be terrific. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It looks nice, like I was walking and I'm like, wow. I, I studied in a government school in primary and it didn't look like this. I'm here with Kevin. Uh, Hi. Kevin is my um, partner in crime, in good crime. <laughs> we work together uh, going to schools and going to public places promoting astronomy. So uh, we're here uh, to um, get the kids aware about the eclipse that will happen on Sunday from around 4 to around 6. It will be a partial eclipse in Nairobi and total in Turkana and Masabit. So we want to give them safe solar viewing glasses so that they can look at the sun. Sasa? Habari zenyu? Mina itwa Susan. Mnapanya astronomy outreach. Mnaja astronomy ni nini? It's the study of the universe. Okay? So mnaja about the sun, the stars, yes? The planets, yeah? So on Sunday, there'll be an eclipse, okay? A total solar eclipse, but in Nairobi, you're only going to see a partial eclipse, okay? And we want to give you these glasses. These glasses will look to look at the sun. Never look at the sun with your eyes only, okay? Make sure you wear these glasses when you want to look at the sun. eclipse is different, it's special, it's a hybrid eclipse. Normally we either have a partial or a total one, but this time we'll have a hybrid one. So during a total eclipse the moon is closer to the earth and so it blocks the sun's light completely, right? 
During a partial, it's farther, but this time it will be farther than closer. So then we have a hybrid one. We should be able to observe the moon passing across its path now. Yeah. Right. So these are just excellent, excellent uh, filters for, the, for viewing the eclipse. Would I be right? Look out for the sunspots, people. We thought it was important for us to get the public aware about what's going to happen in a few days. We have to get searched. <laughs> and one of the places to go to, we thought, was you know a mall where people frequent and yeah, and all sorts of people. So that's what we wanted to do. So we have the mobile planetarium with us. We can model the eclipse, um, previous ones, the one to come. Uh, in Nairobi, in Turkana, so that's what we're showing people. And we have the display here. We all love playing with magnets. I mean, I love playing with this stuff. I can do it all day. <laughs> so these are materials we receive from NASA. Um, it's also key for us to show, you know, our place in, in the uh, solar system or in the universe. So this is a model of the sun. So when people come here, they're like, what's this tent? What's this? And we explain to them. and. They all want to go in. Well, Kyle, Chu. Nice you. to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Cheers. Come on in. Oh, and there's Tom. great spots Hello. over here. Hello. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I take us to where we were? What planet were we heading to? Remember when we were? Oh, the sun. Yeah, we were looking. We were looking at the sun. And let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can refine where we were at. Here's the sun. And we zoomed all the way in to the middle part of our solar system, which is our star, the sun, right? It's a million times bigger than our planet. It's huge. Yeah, loaded with coffee, time to go. So here we are uh, with about four hours in to our uh, Eclipse Challenge trip. Um, some great views out the window and some really good corn. Mm. Only another 12 hours of driving. This is a uh, gold long cannot uh, satellite tracking station. You see the antennas about uh, 20 kilometers away, I think. For me, it is uh, it's something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. And this is an opportunity lottery, eclipse and uh, basically good fellowship. It's, it's something that you would want to uh, see because you know you, know, you will never see it again. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful landscape and the places where you, you meet interesting people. I imagine there's quite a number of people who are going around uh, the world mm -hmm. to eclipse follow. Eclipse chases. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the word I didn't know until recently. Well, eclipse chases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a whole breed of people. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really looking forward to meet this kind of special people. You know, in 1981, in Kenya, we had the, the, you know, the full solar eclipse. I watched it at Woi, which is between Nairobi and Mombasa. The whole road was full of cars. Uh, and it was tail to tail traffic, or, you know, for nearly 200 miles. It's, it's very dramatic because the, the weather changes. It's not just a change in the light, the wind builds up, it's, it's, it's quite a dramatic event. I mean, these days we have people like Susan, our resident astronomer, who can tell us exactly when the eclipse and where we can see it and everything else, but you know, most people 100 and 200 years ago had no idea what was going on. You can understand how superstitions build up. But we have a very famous song um, which many people sing and under the title Subaru and, and it's, it's one of those very signified star in, the, in our country. Can you, can you sing it for us? No. 
Come on. <laughs> Come on. No. Susan will see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the equator might have been a couple of miles that way, but don't tell anyone because it's written on a sign. It must be true. Everything that goes wrong is basically Susan's fault. Whether or not she has any power to change or not, we really don't care. Blame Susan. It's hot. Blame Susan. You don't have enough water to drink. Blame Susan. When I was still a child, my dad bought me a book called Cosmos by Charles Sagan. Yeah, and that's that's the end of that story essentially because I still have it up to now. I saved it, so I was really fascinated by all those stories Sagan put in that book, and it brought me on this path. And Susan Morabana is a good friend, and I wanted to support her initiative. She twisted my arm several times, but you know, <laughs> after I was able to get my shoulder put back in, I decided to support the, the effort. I guess, you know, you look up in the sky and you see that you are actually a very small piece of a big, big, big puzzle. And that itself is humbling. Uh, last night was a really clear night and I took a moment just to look up, then reflected on that. And this part of Kenya, with very little or hardly any industry, the sky is really, really, really bright. There's just something uh, deeply human about the experience of, of being on our planet and looking out and, and wondering where everything is, wondering where we are amongst all of this. And I have experienced two eclipses before, two total eclipses. The powerful one for me was the one in Ghana in 2006. Uh, I think it was around four minutes and it, uh, I loved it and, and there was a conference there and the theme was on African cultural astronomy. So I got to learn a, a lot about how my ancestors looked up in the sky and how it affected their way of living and that also drew me to astronomy like in a science that I could connect my people with. If you look at the satellite image of the Earth, there are no borders, they're all one, they're all athletes. And that's the thing with astronomy and that's what we want to promote. And we have to start as astronomers working together and cooperating rather than competing. Do you think you're going to be Kenya's astronomer number one? <laughs> she already is, come on. <laughs> Maybe. Cloudy, blame Susan again. Forty-five kilometers north of here is where the Turkana boy, you know, the oldest uh, human fossil, 150 million uh, years, was discovered. Eh? So it's an area that is uh, rich with uh, archaeological uh, history. And this is a place we call Namor Tunga. Namor means stones. Tunga looks like people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here there was a traditional dance, and people were warned not to laugh. For those who laughed, they remained, as you can see. For those who followed, who did not laugh, they disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that there was a time when people really knew the knowledge of why this was there. 
but then over time it disappeared and people lost that knowledge and they would just come in uh, mistreat this area and then uh, um, at some point there was some kind of attempt to recover that historical knowledge uh, or appreciation of the spirituality of it and they restarted the, the reverence of this area so now they have gatherings where they will uh, slaughter a goat for people to gather and just pay respects to, to this place and thus the story of people leaving small rocks as memory of them being here and then for them to be able to go wherever they're going and not carry any negative associations. Does anyone have a compass? So th is that exact though? Like from here? Uh, so is that, is that, is that, that's exactly west. Hmm. Wow. There are three stars in the bell. You see like three lines? Uh, maybe, uh, Kyle, maybe those two lines mark uh, like uh, summer and winter. But I think there's more variation. Wouldn't there be more? Could that'd be, be a, more, but be a wider I angle. didn't build it. How could I know? <laughs> Night was Shulegani. Hey, Kalokol girls. Hey, at a minute, take a kujapa. So we stopped all along the way to put the kids. So yeah, this is the last stop of sorts. Pijana Chupwa Это у нас примерно на западе, вот там примерно север, я думаю. Я вот от Лучи большая. Смотри, вот, вот, вот ось пошла. Ног немножко крутится еще. Немножко левее. Да? Нет. This is really good because it can be carried in a small bag. It has a special filter here, so it is completely safe, but when totality comes, you must remove it, otherwise uh, you don't see it because you want to see the black sun and around the black sun you want to see the, the, the wonderful effects which can be seen uh, during a total eclipse. It's simply fantastic. You, you, you will see that, you will see that when the weather here is, is optimal, you will see that. When does it start, Roman? 15 minutes or so. Wow. Okay, we've got 15, 15 minutes until the big moment. Uh, this is just the first time for me to see the solar eclipse. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah, very excited. You protect it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and put mask on. Nobody yeah. know me. <laughs> I thought maybe you were, you know, bandits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My computer will control the camera to shoot the total eclipse. When the, the total eclipse begins, we can just watch. And let the computer does the work. Yeah, so make people very excited. <laughs> Exciting. And uh, I think everyone would wow just like that. But this is just too short. Uh, oh. Nearly 11 seconds. So, so I just want to watch you uh, with my eyes. I don't want to behind my camera and <laughs> take picture. And yeah. we recommend you uh, also let the computer or the camera run it itself just and enjoy you just the enjoy show. it <laughs> with your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. Wow, okay. Who wants to see? Who wants to look? Yes, don't touch anything, okay? <laughs> You can, yeah. Ah, <laughs> see? Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Nachilos! <laughs> it's beginning! Dimitri. Yes, yeah, some good white wine over there. Some filter paper. Some paper. Just tiny seat. Very nice. You can sit around your eyes. Uh -huh. no, you can touch, but soft. One eye. Yes. Oh, the moon. Okay. Just yeah, a little yeah. bit. Look. You see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it's a moon. 
just a little bit yeah, 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 it's touching the sun. <laughs> <laughs> where, where the moon is just before the, the no. How, do you know how fast it moves across? You, find, you must have A couple thousand kilometers per hour. And it starts in Gabon, and you moves over Congo right oh, now, and approaches across Uganda very fast and moves into Kenya and leaves uh, Earth at Ethiopia Somalia border. But we have now a beautiful horizon to the west. Some clouds are disappearing, I, I believe they will disappear completely. That is amazing. There is a proper little chunk taken out of the sun. I make videos. The people are gonna panic if it rains here. It is raining over there. Mm, I just hope it passes just a couple of kilometers north of us. Is it cool? Look. Right now I see a crescent of the sun and it's really brilliant. Oh no. Oh, no. oh no. Oh, there it's coming, it's coming out. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Where is my son? Oh dear. That's a pretty big cloud that's moved over it. Yeah. Well, we've seen most of it. The clouds are building up behind us and the rain is coming but and the wind is building up and it's a really dramatic event, right? It's not just the sun, the, the moon covering the sun, it creates its own uh, system, weather system. Wow, you see? 50 kph. It's getting cloudy but I'm, I'm, I believe it's going to clear. I hope it doesn't rain. No! <laughs> How long is it till the totality, do you know? In another 20 minutes. Bye bye, world. <laughs> Catch you on the other side. <laughs> this is pretty uh, apocalyptic. It's a pretty, pretty thick bank of clouds there, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's going to work. I really do. I think. Batten down the hatches, as they say. <laughs> and we hopefully it'll blow over so that we can actually catch the last bit I of this. Better drink my beer before it gets <laughs> wet. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Cheers. I'm afraid that's a heavy wind coming up. It's um, amazing. It's all inspiring. Like it's crazy. There's some kind of elemental storm about to kick off as well. It just, it just brings it to a whole other level. Look at it. I mean, it's just crazy. And look, it's all about to be spoilt by a few clouds. True. It is really, really dramatic. This dust storm is <laughs> kind of whisked in and blowing everyone over. And I've just seen this proper, proper ring that's going around the sun. It's really gone so dark. There's a big rainbow there and you can feel the moisture kind of coming in and it could well chuck it down. Suffering. Having been hot Suffering. and sunny and dry for days. Yeah. Did you see the people earlier doing the rain dance? No, I didn't miss the rain dance. The rain away. Don't well, know. They did a rain dance, that's going to bring the yeah, rain I on. Yeah, I know, that was pointed out to them. It was too late by then. I think it's all their fault. I can't believe they didn't think about that. Yeah. This is, this is, this is still amazing. You know what, if it was just a normal eclipse, it, it wouldn't be nearly as exciting. I, love the, I just love the feel. This is exciting, isn't it? It is. I mean, it changed, everything changed. But it's a phenomenon. We're in the middle of the desert and it's cool in the daytime. Oh, hey, wow. Venus! Oh shit, we can see Venus. Oh, yeah! Look at that window for Venus. Oh, That's my. it. <laughs> the only it. point in the sky where you can see anything at all is Venus. You can see it all right. really well. Yeah. It doesn't work out the way you want, but you take the little gifts. Wow. This is so dramatic. It's got really dark in the last few minutes. There's this bit up there 
of bl well, I say blue sky, it's actually black, almost black sky. It's a really strange colour. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Um, but it's our only hope for seeing the, the actual bit of totality, which is, I think, in, a, in about a minute and a half. Oh, I think this is totality. We've got blue sky hopefully coming in. Listen. That was amazing. It's just coming back. The light, you can feel that just went so dark. It's, and it's, you can literally feel it second by second brightening up again. And it's like your eyes are, uh, have to adjust again. It's the strangest feeling. That was unreal, just amazing. <laughs> and you can hear the birds as well, they're, they're, they don't know what's going on. You hear them singing? It was exciting, it felt, you know, like we were on the cusp of something that we don't entirely understand. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, you see now it's going away now. Huh? You know, it is completely a party. It's a global party. I think we probably have like about 15 or 16 nationalities. It's just within our group. So I can imagine, you know, with all the other people that we saw parked along this plane, there's probably like about 100 countries represented just on this one little section. Yeah, well, we, we got uh, rum and coke, we got gin, we got beers. Sundowner. It's a, it's a sundowner. <laughs> <laughs> She's worked very hard. She's really worked hard. And I think that's the part of the fun. <laughs> I'm very proud. Of course, I'm probably one of the oldest guys over here. But uh, uh, to see so many people from different countries together with us. And uh, that is the, I mean, uh, I will f feel very proud that I was with all of you guys. Okay. Nice Thank you so you. much for coming. Eh? Okay. Uh, Please come again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.